Merry Christmas! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I Welcome back to Meet the Bratchers. If you're your first time watching, my name is Melissa Bratcher, and I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a gift. I know some people have a hard time wrapping gifts. They have to have someone else do it, or they just don't know how, and they just make a mess of things. So I'm here to show you how to wrap a gift, and I'll be wrapping a mock present. It won't be a real present because... The girls will see what I'm wrapping, so it's just going to be an empty box, but we'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so I have, like I said before, a mock gift. There's nothing in it. My daughter actually just tried to come see what's in it, so I knew I better use a mock gift. So I have the wrapping paper here. You're going to need some scissors and some tape. Now, usually the best wrapping paper is not this kind is actually the foil kind but i ran out of that kind and i just purchased this kind because the foil kind you can kind of put good creases in it and stuff and it doesn't rip as easy and you can still find that at the dollar tree as well but i love the foil kind it'll be shiny and um, a little bit bendable this paper this this regular paper and it's really hard to wrap because it will rip on you so you have to be extra extra careful so i'm going to go in fast forward mode and so you can watch me um wrap the gifts all right see ya So first, I'm um, taping one half of the wrapping paper onto the box as such. And then you're going to flip the other half. And this was after I cut the paper to measure along the box. So you don't want to um, cut too much or not enough. It won't fit on the box. So here's just some excess paper. So I'm just folding it down like so. And then once you fold it down, you crease it down really good. And then you're going to tape it down on each side there. Okay, once you've got the middle completed, then you're going to have these extra, extra long pieces on each side. So you need to cut them down. Again, you don't want to leave too much paper. And then you don't want to cut it too short so you got to kind of measure it out and then cut it all the way across make sure you have some good cutting scissors doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the excess paper cut off all right so once you've done that you're gonna have these little pieces that you're gonna have to fold and tuck in now because you gotta cover up your present so you're gonna lay everything flat open it and then tuck each end on the inside and then you're gonna crease your paper now I could have cut more off it would have been a little bit more easier if I would have cut the extra paper off but you gotta um, fold them on the inside until you get your points on your top and your points on your bottom then you have to tape the inside um, to get 
to attach to your present. So I'm going to be taping that on the inside. Again, you could cut more paper off. I left a little bit extra, but I know how to tuck and roll and get those hidden pieces out. So then you're going to um, crease your paper really, really, really good. And then you're going to have your bottom piece come up because the back of the gift is where you taped everything else. So you want to put the bottom piece up first and then you're going to tape that as well. But you see how much the extra paper there. Um, so I just tucked it in because if I would have cut a little bit of excess of the paper off, it wouldn't have had that extra um, paper there. So I'm just going to tape it on each side to the box. And then I have my extra little triangular piece of paper. And I'm going, I'm going to tape it down. Um, the paper is very sensitive because it will rip really easily. So I'm tucking my insides in again so I can make my, my triangle points. And my top one is going to come once I get it, it's going to come down. All right, guys, there you have it. This is how you wrap a present. Also, I can show you how to use some ribbon. I don't have enough left of this kind. But what you do is you run this across the front, you run this across the back, and then you would put your tuck your pieces. If I would have had enough, I could have created a bow. Since I do not have enough, I'm going to take this under here as so. And then, one second, because I do have you can add as little or less, as many as you would like. I'm going to take the tag off. And you can add two, three, one, however many you would like to add. So I'm going to add. And there you have it. Quick and easy gift wrapping on your own. And you can impress all your family members by wrapping your own Christmas gift. So if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. And we will be seeing you later. I hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?